Yo, what's good, everybody? We got another beers with Barton. It is Wednesday, March 24th, 2021. Hump day! Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Um, hope everyone's watched some March Madness, because it's been madness. And I uh, hope everyone's um, over the week like I am. So, not much to report on, except uh, it's been a crazy March Madness. A lot of upsets. It's been great. Um, unless your bracket had Illinois winning, um, but some pretty cool upsets. I actually still got Gonzaga as a one seed, Baylor as a one seed, um, and uh, Michigan's a one seed, all in the Sweet 16. Illinois is the only one seed that did not make it. Um, the two seeds, Alabama is still there. Um, Iowa got knocked out by Oregon. Um, Arkansas, no, wait, there are three seed. Ohio State actually got knocked out in the first round, so never mind. And then Houston, so only two of those. But Arkansas is there. Anyways, some good games coming up. Um, Michigan um, is playing against uh, Florida State. A lot of people have Florida State beating them. And um, La Loya, Chicago, who made a Final Four a couple years ago, I think a nine seed? No, as an 11 seed. They are now in the Sweet 16. They're an eight seed. They just beat Illinois. And they're favored against the 12 seed Oregon State, winner to the Elite Eight. And then whoever wins that plays the winner between Syracuse, the 11 seed, and Houston, who most people thought was kind of a, a weaker two seed. We'll see what happens. So, anyways, March Madness is here. It's great. Um, I love it. Uh, I had Gonzaga winning versus Baylor in my league. So, Illinois had in the Final Four. Um, but most people have them uh, in the championship game or winning it all. So for me, I didn't lose any extra points. So anyways, cheers. Michaela had a good night, uh, did dance. Um, Jessica is hanging out with a good friend, um, just uh, catching up and actually planning our next vacation in St. John's for August. So um, thank you. Uh, to both you ladies for doing that and uh, enjoy hanging out and get away from the, uh, the crazy husbands and the kids. And uh, you know, McKay and I just been hanging out. We had a little mac and cheese for dinner, some fruit, and we're going to watch. We're going to start um, Endgame, uh, the Avengers. We watched Infinity War at least the second half a couple weeks ago. Michaela was all in. So it's getting a little late, but we'll watch at least the first part of it, get it started, probably finish it tomorrow because there's no school on Friday. And we'll go from there. So cheers to all. We're drinking a little... Uh, Imperial Stout with cocoa nibs, hazelnuts, and vanilla beans. High branch, you guys know what it is. Uh, they, they sell these in single cans, nine bucks a can. It's 10.6, had it on draft on Saturday, I'm sorry, Sunday. Absolutely delicious, grabbed a couple cans. Jessica loved it, so we got one can left for her, but um, we're just gonna hang out, trying to drop <laughs> less beer, and uh, pot, pot ourselves this up. Trying to drink less beer, um, drink a little bit more whiskey, but uh, you know, still riding the old uh, exercise bike every day. Um, very sore. Uh, softball starts tomorrow. That's a whole nother uh, beers with Barton, so we'll figure that out later. So, anyways, cheers to this. This one's delicious. It's smooth, solid, full flavor. Ten point six. <sighs> Cocoa nibs, hazelnut, vanilla. Just, I mean, high branch guys. It's a cream of the crop. Cheers. The flavor is just ridiculous. I mean, I love my stouts. Um, I love my porters. Um, I'm a hazy IPA guy. I'm, a, I'm an IPA guy in general. But when you can have something that's 10.6 and you can pretty much chug it, it's not a sip up. It's not a easy drink out. It's a guzzler. You could absolutely guzzle it. Now, you probably should sip it or you could easy drink it or you guzzle it it's that good it tastes like heaven and an absolute glass so cheers to high branch cheers to wednesday cheers to march madness <sighs> until next time adeus